All right, these uh, videos or videos that I piled up into one is just a, a couple months ago before rabbit season ended. And this right here is just me putting on the scope cam, making sure everything is uh, still zeroed. Because I can't stress enough of how important it is that before any hunt or you know, shooting of a, any animal that you make sure your gun or your scope and gun are zeroed. Because first, you don't want to injure your animal. And second, uh, you don't want to miss. You know, so it's really important. And I just took a shot at this target here. I just see in a second. At 25 yards, uh, you really can't tell here, but it's shooting a little higher uh, than the crosshairs because I have it sighted in at 17 yards, so it'll be flat around 50. But yeah, I was just taking five shots uh, with the scope cam and making sure it's it's lined up uh, properly. Here's the five shots with the scope cam. Uh, I think that's pretty good, and just the fact that I don't really use it. Uh, and then this top right there, five with my eye. Obviously, I'm better with my eye. But still pretty good. All right, fast forward here. There's some sheep right there at the property where I used to uh, one of my old videos, uh, the rabbit hunting. And the new owners uh, said at the time I couldn't go in, but I could. You know, happily take any rabbit uh, outside the gate and any ground scroll because uh, it could be an issue for the uh, for their sheep right here. All right, enough babbling. Uh, let's get to some shooting here. Uh, this is the only clip I'm going to comment on and it's because 
you know, I thought that was a rabbit's head, so I took a shot. But it seems to me that it was a heart and lung shot. And you can see it just tilted on its side right there. And all of a sudden, I see a head popping up on the right. So I don't know if that was a different rabbit or the same one. He just like tilted around on the ground. But I broke a rule, which is know your target and what's beyond. You know, uh, I wanted to show this vid this clip right here because you know we all make mistakes. We sometimes take shots that we shouldn't. And you know it's not a shot that I'm proud of. I regret it. But you know, it's what makes us better shooters and better hunters, you know, so we can take uh, more humane kills and we don't want that animal suffering, you know, we just want it to be a quick, you know, instant uh, kill. But, you know, I'm open for criticism and if anyone can comment on what they think happened, you know. These were the last two that I shot. Uh, you can't really tell from the lighting, but it's right behind it. And that was the case for a lot of them. I was shooting some ground scrolls on and off camera. Um, I just managed to catch them. And a lot of them were just fell in holes, and I couldn't even retrieve them. And over here, you know, you can see all that blood. It took a big hit, but they somehow managed to just go back in the hole and die for sure down there. All in all, it was a good day. I took some rabbits home. I helped out with some ground squirrels here. And I actually shot a couple more rabbits and ground squirrels off camera. And I just didn't have time to record them. But what what I wanted to turn out uh, as a hunting day turned out to be mostly a pest control. And uh, uh, I still managed to take a lot of them uh, from that setup there right in my car. I just wasn't allowed on the property all the way in. But, you know, even then, it was a good day. So I hope you guys like this video, I uh, just got a bunch of clips and put them together and I hope they turn out good.